All right, greeting family. Um, greeting. My name is Horace Ibert. That's actually the name of my father, so I'm Horace Ibert Jr. I was born in Jamaica, Montego Bay, Jamaica. Uh, I guess Bobby would be my brother. <laughs> what, you want to pride us? I was born in Kingston. <laughs> hey, that's what, that's what people out from Kingston always say, but uh, it's all good. <laughs> all right, so. But well, yes, we're definitely brothers. I, I moved to Canada when I was 10 years old. My mom decided that she wanted to get a better life and it would be better for me as well. I remember my first day at school and my first week in Canada. It was an. an, an how, would I, how would I put it? It was a very unpleasant experience for me because walking home, a kid saw me and he looked at me and he called me a nigger and hit me with a hockey stick. Wow. Unfortunately for him, as a Jamaican, that is something you don't do. I took the hockey stick from that kid and I beat him with it. Nice. <laughs> All right, so just fast forward. Um, I got to high school and I think this is when something in me changed. I was in history class and I opened the history book and I didn't see myself in the history book. So I told the teacher I can't participate in this. And he, he was kind of fussy about it, but I said, look, I won't disrupt the class. As long as you pass me, I'll stay out of your way. And we made an agreement. <laughs> that is the first D and only D I've ever earned in my life. Wow. Mm. And from that point, I always felt like I was a little different, but I didn't know why. And I didn't have a, some, any kind of name for myself. I just knew that I was different. And I went through high school feeling kind of out of place. You know, even my own people were, I thought they were strange, right? And um, I just stuck to myself. I, I know what I believe in and I just kept on uh, going through that journey. And I didn't really do anything after that. I just kept living and then about a year and a half ago, I was recovering from a car accident and I was, I guess I passed out in the bed and I had a dream. And I actually dreamt about my ancestors and they actually spoke to me and they told me, I'm not where I'm supposed to be and I'm not who I'm supposed to be. And unfortunately at that moment, my friend called me on the phone and I don't, I don't, I didn't get to hear what else they were gonna tell me. So I woke up and I've been trying to figure out what's next for me. And that's what led me to arrive in Ghana, West Africa today. And I can, I can say that um, when I got off the plane, 100% I, I did not feel like I was in a foreign country. And the energy I see from the people is next to nothing I've experienced ever. With, with one exception on a small scale is being back home in Jamaica. But also one thing that for those who are in the US and Canada, and even in the Caribbean. If we had the same energy as the people over here in Ghana, yeah. we would not be in the state that we're in today. Because the way that they work and how hard they work is on a different level than, as in fact, we're just lazy over there, we're point blank. And that's all I have to say right now because otherwise I'll probably say stuff I regret later. <laughs>